Jesus. Jesus is the only way to escape the wrath of God, the punishment that you're heading for. Jesus is your only way of escape. The Bible says He is the way, the truth, and the life. And that no man cometh unto the Father but by Him. Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. He is the only true God. And He is the only one that can give you life and offer you mercy. But you see, people, the problem is is that we've got a church here, we've got a church over there, we've got another church down the street over here, and everybody that comes through here says, I'm a Christian, I love God, I follow God. But yet, they still go out and get drunk, they look at pornography, they do drugs, they're a homosexual, they're a Catholic, they follow all these other false religions, but yet, I'm good with God. I'm in good standings with God. But see, the Bible says that they honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. You can say you love God. You can come close to Him with your mouth, but yet your heart is still far from God. You don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ. But I'm here to tell you today that your words are not going to justify your sin. Your words are not going to justify your wicked works on the day of judgment. The Bible says that many people will come to him on that day and say, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Have we not cast out devils? Have we not done many wonderful works? There's going to be a lot of people that's going to try to talk their way into the kingdom of God. But God looks at them to their face and he says, Depart from me, you that work iniquity, for I never knew you. You're not going to be able to talk your way out of this punishment. You're not going to be able to like you would uh, in the court system. You'll go down to the courtroom and you'll stand before a judge and you'll have a lawyer to come and lie and plead your case and get you out of trouble, get you off the hook. That's what a lawyer will do. That's what he'll try to do. He'll try to justify you breaking the law with a lie. But that's not going to work in God's courtroom. You're not going to be able to lie to try to get out of trouble. You're going to stand before God, and God's going to play back your life. Because people, God sees it. God knows the truth. He's not looking for witnesses. God already knows. Because the Bible says that the eyes of the Lord are in every place beholding both the evil and the good. The eyes of the Lord, He's watching you. God sees what you do in public, out in the open, when you're out in town. God sees exactly what you're doing. And He also sees what you do when you're in private, when you're by yourself, in the privacy of your home, when nobody else sees you. He sees you when you go to church, and he sees you while you're by yourself. So God's not fooled by this little game that you play. God looks at your heart. It's a heart condition. That's the problem out here today. So the question is, is your heart far from God? Is your heart far from God? That's why the Bible says, draw nigh unto God, and he will draw nigh unto you. He says, cleanse your hands and set them. You have to come close to God today. You have to come close to Jesus Christ. And then, and only then, will He come close to you. If you want God to give you the power, you have to first receive Him. The Bible says, to as many as received Him, to them gave He power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name you see people the only way to get the power of god the only way to walk in the spirit of god the only way to become a child of god is to first cry out to him you have to come with a humble heart the bible says that uh, that god he's looking for those 
that are of a broken and contrite spirit. That's what God is looking for, people. God accepts a humble spirit because you're broken over your sin. You see your sin as a problem. That's what it is. Your sin is a problem that will kill you. And the only way to walk in the power of God is to accept that and receive Jesus. Cry out to God. You have to admit that you can't do it on your own. You need Jesus Christ to come into your heart to save your soul. And when you do that, he says, he gives you power to become the sons of God. That means that right now you're not a child of God. If you're living in sin, you're not the sons of God. You're not children of God. So who are you? If you're not children of God, that means you're children of the devil. You're children of Satan. And he says, the lust of your father ye will do. You're going to do what your father says, people. And when the devil, he deceives you, he lies to you, and he has you, uh, you're lying to people, you steal from people, you cheat on people, you go and get drunk with people, you're a homosexual, you play this little game for people, you're doing the deeds of your father, the devil. But when you repent and you come to Jesus Christ with a broken heart over your sin, he gives you the power to become children of God. And you no longer do these things. You have a new heart with new desires. And that's what we're here to preach today. We're here to hold up the Bible and say it's time you start studying the Word of God. The Bible says that it, His delight is in the law of the Lord and doth He meditate day and night. People right here, this is what you should be reading. You need to read the Bible. You need to read your Bible, people. Come to Jesus Christ. Ask God to come into your heart and save your soul. Because if you don't, there's coming a day. We were talking about it last night. There's coming a day for a lot of people when they're going to meet this man named Satan. And he's not what everybody else says. Everybody paints this little picture that he's this little red guy with a pitchfork and horns and a little tail. But that's not how the Bible describes Satan. The Bible says that he's a deceiver. When Eve saw him, it was the most beautiful thing that she had ever saw. Because that's how he works. He wants you to be fooled. But on that day, you are going to meet him if you're not right with God. People today, we're here to warn you. It's Jesus or hellfire. That's why you got to read the book. You got to read the Bible. Don't fight against God. The Bible says, for we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. You can't fight against God. You're not going to win. If you think you're going to do this on your own, you're going to fall. You're going to fail. Because the Bible says that there is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. You think you've got it all figured out? You're going to die and meet God. You don't have nothing figured out. Turn to Jesus Christ while you still have time. Call upon Him while He's near. Seek Him while He may be found. Turn to Jesus Christ and live, people. Jesus is your only hope. Cry out to God. Beg Him for mercy. Beg Him for forgiveness. God can clean your life up only if you call on His name. Turn to Jesus Christ before it is everlasting too late.